Hello, uh, it's Mr. Blackwell. I'm going to give you a little demonstration, short demonstration of the Sloan Digital Sky Survey data access spot here called DR10. It's an online web based interface to look at places in the sky and to uh, to grab information about stuff you're, you want to look at. It's kind of neat. They've taken pictures of the entire sky and spectra for the vast majority of objects out there. When you load up the website, which you can see up here and will also be presented to you in Canvas, you see that it just goes to a default location in the sky and it gives you a, a decimal right ascension and a, a decimal declination here and uh, a slider to zoom in and zoom out with. You can also just grab in the interface and drag things around and, and look around at some of the imagery that's available to you. And down here there are other options you may wish to play with. Uh, there's a view that turns on a grid that also tells you the field of view. This is two arc minutes for example. You can also turn on a, a label which determines uh, where you are looking, that kind of thing, the scale. Clicking on photometric objects gives you circles around all the, all, all the objects for which they have photometric data, that is data concerning the brightness of the object in a variety of filters. So for example, if I click on this object here with my mouse, it will uh, bring in a zoomed view of it. It will say that it is a star, its right ascension and declination values and it's U, G, R, I, and Z uh, photometry values. U being ultraviolet, G being green, red being infrared, I'm sorry, red, R being red, I being infrared, and Z being far infrared. These are the magnitude values to the right. So in the ultraviolet, this particular star has a magnitude of 15.39. You can also uh, turn that off and, and click on objects with spectra and it puts circles around objects that have spectra. In this case we'll click on this galaxy over here. It gives you its U, G, R, I, and Z photometry values but it also gives you its spectra. So if you click on it, lo and behold it'll give you a spectrum which is uh, measured in energy per second per area per wavelength. So ergs per centimeter squared per second per angstrom. Uh, divided by uh, its wavelength and angstroms. Here you've got angstroms which are literally nanometers times 10. So if you just lop off a zero, uh, this becomes 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. This is the end of the visual range and everything to the right of that is in the infrared. Going back to the navigate tool, uh, there are a variety of other things you could do here. You can do a quick look uh, gives you all sorts of information about this object in, in literally one quick uh, look, which is kind of handy. Uh, you can add this to your notes. There's a, a thing that allows you to add to notes. So you just click on a variety of objects and keep saying add to notes. And then if you show notes, it brings you up a table of all your information that you can also export is either HTML, XML, or a comma separated values list and say export and it will send it to your uh, hard drive for you which is kind of sweet. All the rest of the stuff for the advanced options are things that you really don't need to worry about but it is interesting to, to go in here and, and take a, a look. Pretty much the entire sky has been made available um, from the, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey so lots to think about your project will be looking at a series of galaxies in a rather poorly studied galaxy cluster and you'll see that in your canvas assignment. So there you are, an introduction uh, to using the SDSS Sky Server data access software.